Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and how the news in details. Jonathan rehats to U.S. election chaos. YTO takes major decision on Okojo Iwela not announced dominate newly sworn in justice. It is better to lose power and again honor, Jonathan says. The Nigerian president, good luck, Jonathan says, it is better to lose power and again honor. Jonathan, who made this known in a Facebook post on Friday, recommended this philosophy to all leaders facing challenging situations at the polls. He wrote, Nobody's ambition is worth the blood of any citizens. It is better to gain honor at the cost of losing power than to gain power at the cost of losing honor. At any point in time, the power of love should matter more than the love of power. And this is my philosophy. I have lived it. It has brought great peace to both my beloved nation and I. And I recommend it to all leaders facing challenging situations, either in government or other polls, or even in the dealings with fellow political actors. Jonathan, who sought re-elections on the platform of the People's Democratic Party in 2015, had considered defeat in the incumbent Nigerian President Major General Muhammad Buhari of the All Progressive Congress. Although Jonathan was not specific about the world's leader, he made the recommendation too. The statement was made at a time when the United States is electing a new president to lead the nations for another four years. The incumbent American president, Donald Trump and his Democrats challengers, Joe Biden, are presently slogging heat out at the polls, but the Electoral College votes are cheating in favor of Biden, who is some figures shy from the magic number of 217. The Republican candidate has, however, been alleging fraud in the voting process. Trump has also threatened that the election would end up at the U.S. Supreme Court. And he said Joe Biden campaign says he will give a speech during prime time Friday. The Democratic presidential candidate's campaign announced that he would be making an address but did not say where or what he plans to say. Biden is on the cops of winning the presidency as a open up narrow lead over President Donald Trump in several critical backgrounds. The Associated Press has not called the presidential race. Votes are still being counted in states including Pennsylvania and Georgia. He has urged the public to be patient as vote counting continues. He was spending Friday at home in Wilmington, Delaware, a state set up since election night for a victory party outside the city's convention center. We made entered and has been secured for days by security personnel using high fencing and car barrier. Biden campaign Stafer, who arrived in Wilmington for a victory party earlier in the week, have been told to hold on to their hotel room until earlier next week. Okonjo Iwela, Whitey Ho, postpones meeting to pick new Whitey Ho DG. The World Trade Organization has postponed a meeting where members are expected to pick a new director general after the United States blocked the favored candidate Ugonzi Okonjo Iwela. The WYT earlier announced that the meeting would hold next week but a communication sent by AFP showed that the meeting has been postponed indefinitely. It has come to my attention that for reasons including the health situations, the current event, delegations will not be in the positions to take a formal decisions on 9th November. The head of the selection committee told member state, I am therefore postponing this meeting until further notice during which period I will continue to undertake consultations with delegations, he said. The Punch had reports that the United States opposed Nigerians in Gonzi Okonjo Iwela as the consensus candidate to lead Whitey Ho. The U.S. said it is supporting South Korean Trade Minister Yomu Jun Hee to become the Director General of the World Trade Organization because she is a trade expert. However, the European Union and the Whitey Ho's ambassadors backed Okonjo Iwela for the positions. U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lee Kanza why given reasons for opposing Okonjo Wella, who gained American citizens in 2019, said Whitey Ho needs someone with will and own experience in the field. Chief Justice swear him eight new Supreme Court Justice. The Chief Justice of Nigeria, C.J. Hen, Justice Stanko Muhammad, 
has cautioned the eight new justices of the Supreme Court not to allow their personal ambitions to be cloud their sense of judgment. Mr. Muhammad gave the warning during the swearing-in ceremony of the newly appointed justice on Friday. He advised them to rather see themselves as God representatives on earth. Your interactions with people of inevitable inclinations and pedigree, if any, must be halted forthwith. Let us let your conscience guide and filter every thought that transverse your mind from this moment. Let your conscience guide and filter every thought. I have no doubt that you may you may have at one time and the holder been confronted with some forms of criticism or verbal assault by litigants who lost their cases. I want to assure you that more of such will come your way, where appellant expectations are often very high and infectious. It said that there is no way they can please human beings, especially litigants. I am, however, making it absolutely clear to you that the easiest way to fail in life is to try pleasing everybody. The only deity you can fear is the Almighty God. Once your judgment is in the consonance with the Constitution, what God expects from you? The news agency of Nigeria now reports that the justices swearing in are Lawa Gaba, Northwest, Helene, Ogunwisu from Southwest, Habdo Aboki, Northwest, and M.M. Salawa, Salawa, Northwest. Others are Adamu, Jahuru, Northeast, Same Osegji, South South, Tigani Abubaka, Northeast, Emmanuel Ajim, South South. The swearing in, which took place at the headquarters of the Supreme Court, was secret to the appointment made by President Muhammad Buhari and confirmed by the Senate on the recommendations of the National Judicial Council. So guys, what do you think about this? What is your own take about what has been said by Jonathan Goodluck Jonathan? The reality is that this guy speaks the truth and that is just the thing about it. Which people, actually many Nigerians, they respect him for that. They respect him for that. And concerning the issue of swearing in of some uh, justice, you know, the fact is that why is it that uh, some some set of group are still missing? If you look at it now, do not. If you look at what as what as the people that have been appointed, you can see that the northeast, the northwest, the south south, the southwest, are there, but the southeast are missing. The southeast are not there. You know the reality is that why appointing four? They appointed four from the north. When they they not even they, in fact when they they don't even have good educational standard, the set of people that have a good educational standard they never appointed them, and that is exactly what we are talking about in this present administration. There has been a conspiracy everywhere. I am telling you the truth, because we don't know what is wrong with our leaders. We don't know. They are not ready to give or to show us an, a good examples. And that is where the problem lies. You know, to speak the truth, you know, if I want to compare the administration of Good Luck Jonathan with the administrations of President Muhammad Buhari, there is a huge difference between it. Jonathan still considers some group, but Buhari is totally no good, no go area. So guys, what do you think? Kindly drop your comments in the comment section below. God bless you for watching our video. And thank you so much. If you are yet to subscribe, please kindly press the subscription button below. And thank you always. Please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, you will always be the first person to watch our latest news anytime, any day. God bless you. Stay safe at this crucial time. It is very important to you. Hear me. Have a lovely day. Bye.